guys, it's Robif2 here. Uh, today I'm going to uh, well, watch, listen for the first time to the Welsh song for the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. And oh, before anything further, uh, I must admit that I'm uh, watching uh, GESC uh, since for the first time I watched it in uh, 2016. Mm, and I was uh, so much surprised with the songs uh, that I kept watching every year. So since then uh, I've watched all the editions and this one will, won't be an exception. I watched it as well, especially that it's uh, taking place in Poland. Uh, in uh, The final is gonna be on uh, the 24th of November in Gliwice, uh, Silesia. Uh, Silesia is the region um, in Poland, so yeah, I'm really excited for this contest to take place uh, in Poland. I'm uh, really happy that, uh, well, finally we got to win Junior Eurovision after our comeback in 2016. Um, and yeah, I'm proud and Roxana Vengil uh, last year deserved to win, in my opinion, even though there were better songs, but it was a really good song and she deserved so. Um, and it was pretty tight in the little part. But anyways, I'm here to react to the Welsh song. Um, yeah, I'll try, since this is uh, the kids song, ch children performing, uh, I won't be that harsh and not, not that critical. I try to look at it as uh, happy, positive, you know, uh, and not that serious as in, with the adult uh, Eurovision. So let's just go. Uh, I'll start today with the first one and it's gonna be Wales. Glad uh, to, uh, yeah, to see uh, some, uh, one of the, one part of uh, Great Britain to uh, participate, because Scotland also participates in the Eurovision uh, Choir uh, contest. I don't know the name, exact name, I forgot it, sorry. But uh, yeah, it's nice, because it opens, you know, the Mm, the horizon uh, for the for also for northern Northern Ireland to participate so uh, at, at adult Eurovision so we'll see <coughs> what brings the future so okay enough of my talking let's jump into the Welsh uh, song the nat national final performance uh, the girl uh, the child actually uh, that won the it, it's their second edition and they are using for the second time. Uh, their uh, national final. Uh, it's called, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Hilio Amserin, something like that. Uh, and the girl that won uh, this time was Erin Mai, and the song is gonna be Kalonin Kuro. If you know the correct pronunciation, please um, no, correct me. Uh, or I'll just hear in the song uh, how it's uh, pronounced. So let's go. Erin Mai with the song. Calon and grow. I'm really excited. Oh, nice! So we start with the Roxana Vengel with it by with the song, song each song. But oh, so it's Calon and grow. Beautiful. Oh, she's she 40? 30? Ooh, nice. Okay, Kalon and Kiro. Kiro. So has big plus. <laughs> Some strong vocal performance. I like that part. Ooh, oh, 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 it's good. I love this 
this language is so mysterious that we have no idea what's going on, but I like it. That look, ooh. Hmm, but uh, you can clearly see that she's a good performer. Those hands, you know, the the look, some kind of good charisma. I like that. Some charisma is always needed to uh, kind of enchant audiences at home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all the song, the voice is really good. Of, of course, not perfect, but still really good. You slay, go. Okay, go, girl. Uh, well, I'm surprised because it's a pretty good song. Yeah. Uh, uh, last year, well, wait, wait, wait. Last year, Wales participated and they had song, uh, of course, also in Welsh, but it was kind of more like, like a mid tempo song. This time they go with up tempo song, which I really like, because uh, from what I know, the translation of the title it's heart beating, and the beat in this song is, yeah, uh, you can clearly, very clearly uh, hear it. Uh, so yeah, it fits uh, definitely. Mm. The song, of course, it's not that you know, uh, not that great, but um, I'm not a, such a big fan of it. But I really enjoy it, uh, it's nice to listen to it, and I'm curious to see what it's gonna be like at the, the studio version, of course, but also the, uh, I mean the staging at the final uh, in, uh, in Poland. But uh, as for the, you know, as kind of a starter, it's uh, a nice to hear that a good, a pretty good song. So yeah, I'm very positive about the uh, remaining 18, yeah, uh, yes, uh, last year it was 20 participants, this year it's uh, 19, I guess, so yeah, 18 uh, more of songs to go, 18 more of reactions to go, so I'm really excited, I won't be uh, there at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest, I'll be just what, chilling and watching at home. Uh, I think it's just Junior Eurovision isn't my thing really. Um, I like to watch it, but I'm not that uh, much into uh, Junior Euro Eurovision. I like some songs from the past, I looked it up, all the editions uh, since 2003. Uh, I have some favorites, but not that many, because I'm just an adult, you know, already. Um, so yeah, I just don't enjoy uh, children's stuff that much, but I still find some uh, songs really, really good. So yeah, uh, that's it for this uh, reaction. Um, uh, after I react to all the 19 songs and listen to them, I'll uh, give my top 19, so I'm not giving any out any scores, any placings ra in rankings and stuff like that, no. Uh, that will be done in the uh, last video, right before the uh, final in uh, on 24th of November. Okay, so uh, that's it from me. Uh, if you like the video, do the thumbs up. If you want to share your opinion, do, do it so in the comment section below the video. Also subscribe uh, to my channel and be sure to uh, click on the notification bell icon so you can be notified immediately uh, about uh, yeah, about uh, newest videos that are posted just now and you get the notification whoa okay click uh, so we see <laughs> what's my reaction 
Uh, what? Yeah. Um, oh, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, the links are in the description. And well, see you later, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again, and bye. Take care.